here the spiders already. Those footsteps you can hear are actually the spiders. I don't think they've got an alternative sound for them. Or is it down here? It might be this one. Oh, it's that one up there. That's an exit route for us. And this is where we swap to the sniper rifle. They haven't shown themselves yet. And as soon as they do, we'll be able to start sniping them out. See, there's a load in that cave there. I think there's one or two in that cave there, but there's a ton of them around this statue. They just haven't shown themselves yet. And this is why you must have armor when you come to this one, because you need to um, you need to get down there. And the only way to get down there is to use jump jets to break your fall. There is no other way down. But I still don't see them. So we'll go back to the shotty. Because in close quarters, the shotty is actually best. We're going to have to Geronimo it. I'm going to try and land on that part of the statue which gives me a little bit of elevation. Oh, and it won't let me. There's an invisible wall there. Here they come. And I'm stuck in there. Keep moving. Don't stand still. The minute you stand still, they're going to get you. Keep moving until you're sure there's no more around. Hi, guys. There they are, look. Big problem with the shotgun, of course, is limited magazine. There's at least one more floating around somewhere, apart from those ones up there. Oh, there you are. Don't know if we got you guys, did we? So we'll reload the shotty. We'll get the sniper rifle out. We'll just make sure of you. I don't think they're dead. Oh, hello. Got you. Is it safe to loot? Go back to the shotty just to be sure. And just shift F on all of these. Take whatever they're offering. Should be another one there. There was two. There was definitely two there. Now it's down to one. And they don't stay very long. Come on, hit him. This was some of the first ones that I hit. They're still here, but some of the later ones that I hit have gone away. Again, we'll remote all of this up to the bike, put it in the fridge. Did we get you? Yeah, we must have. There's you to get. We'll do all the crates and stuff after we've got the all the spider meat and parts. This is a, a very rich pickings mission, this. Current status effect, poison bit 2 will evolve into organ failure in zero minutes. Oh, I didn't even see that. Um, so, 
poisonous bit two we want to use that one that should be it treated we need a munch one of that have two of them one uh oh we've got multiple status effects there um I'm just going to use one of these because I'm not sure which with this new system. I'm not sure which is which. What's the the lungs thing? Um, use one of them, get the health back up. Oops. What is the lungs thing? Uh, radiation poisoning, radiation burn, poisonous bite, bad trip. Well, we'll try one of them, see if it clears it. No, that's just taking a load off our health and our stamina. Um, dermal parasite, endo parasite. Dermal, endo, dermal, endo. Intoxication, bad trip, poisonous bite, poisonous bit two. It's got to be that one. It's got to be the... It's going to be the cure. It looks to be curing. No, it's falling back again. Where do we get this status? Here we are, status. What's this? Oh, organ failure imminent. Use a painkillers or a first aid kit. Okay. We use that. Has that cured it? We need health back. So number nine. Use a bunch of those. Get our health back up. Come on. It's not letting me do them back to back. Come in here, do it this way. That way, health stabilizing. No. Use painkillers and a f and a first aid. Oh, that's a health pack. We don't have a first aid kit. I don't even think we've got one on the bike. So, I have to use that to try and stabilize it for now. We did use a first aid kit. Um. All right. Can we remote into the bike and has it got anything on it? Nothing in the fridge. Nothing in the cargo box. Okay, we're going to have to hope that we can find it in all of this lot. Otherwise, we've got a death situation. I still hear spiders walking around. We'll sort them out in a minute. They're probably up there. But we've got to rush around, try and find a first aid kit. There's rich loots. It's not what we came for. All right, okay. Liquors. Technical artifact. Is that what we came for? Looks like it. And we're dead. At that point, we're dead. Killed by a disease. So we're going to have to reach more mistakes were made. Then more mistakes were made. Then we died. Then we made more mistakes. <laughs> Geronimo! More sprouts. 
We've got everything out of that, yes. Can we turn that on? No. More sprouts. Sprouts is good. We do eventually need them. Are you guys gonna die? Can I actually hit you or not? Seems to be an invisible wall there. Got you that time. Where did you go? Uh oh. Oi. Why can't I hit you? Got you. Oh, and how do I get you down? Oh, well, maybe we can't loot him. Right. So, let's have a look at the jumpy things. There's jumpy things going up there. We've got this one to clear out. Um, let's just check the... Yeah, I didn't think that was reloaded. Uh, we've got jumpy things to do across here. Which are probably the best ones to do next. And we'll switch over to this. Another one right beside me here. Reload before I go down there. There's a fourth one in there, I'm sure of it. Spider baby. Oh, hello, you. I saw you trying to hide behind there. listening for more footsteps. And there is at least one more set of footsteps wandering around somewhere. There he is.
Where did the baby go? Container. This is what we came for. Tier 2 shotgun. Nice. Tier 2 pulse rifle. Even more nice. A flamethrower we don't care about. An EVA boost saves us making or buying one. Take this moment to swap the weapons over. So tier 2 shotgun goes in there. Tier 2 pulse rifle goes in there. Just make sure they're loaded. Everything is loaded. Tier 2 pulse rifle is nice. You've never used one before or you've overlooked it um don't it's a very nice weapon not as nice as the epic but you know can't have everything right now we need to connect to the bike and offload so put them in there rest of that is fridge and we've still got spider footsteps tottering around all right so I don't need to need the loot the light on so we can see what's going on Here's what we wanted, med kits, EVA suit, Sathium, and another tier 2 shotgun, nice, nice, nice. So we'll get out of this little death hole here. Did we loot that one? We did. Get out of this little death hole here and get back to somewhere that's got a bit more space so we can see what's going on around us. And then we can remote the loot back up to the bike. So, so remote this back up to the bike. And I'm sorry this episode's getting long, guys, but it's one that I figured you might want to see it played all the way through. Um, that's not fridge, that's fridge, that can go down there, cargo box 3, oxygen extender, sathium ingots, a bit of plant fibre, keep that extra thing on us, there's another shot eat, put that there, this is the tricky one, we've got to get up into there, I'm not sure that we've got enough on the jump jets to be able to do it. We'll give it a go. So, and yeah, you see them? So, what we want to do here then is, first of all, we want to get back up here. And then we'll get, just get the regular drill out. We'll do a... Like that. I'll go back to the pulse rifle. I 
means that got them. Yeah, got them both. Hey guys. Kill you via your leg if I've got to. That allows me to drop down there without having to do all sorts of flight acrobatics. Come on. So, a tier 2 multi tool, a rail gun for an SV or hover vessel, nice. Jetpack boost and some neodymium ingots. All very nice loot at this level. And I think that's us done in here. We've just got to go through that cascade up there. And then we've got to figure a way out. So. Reload before we breach this door. There's another one up there. I think there is. You're going to watch those cavities behind you. Nutrient solution. Okay. I would have preferred something a bit more like fuel, but we'll take it. More nutrient solution. Right, we've got to go up there, but before we go up there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remote into the bike and get rid of all of this lot. Neodymiums, another one of those. Uh, That can go in here. All of this is then for the fridge. Now, I know I'm being a bit pedantic about this, but I like to clear a POI completely in one pass. I don't, oh, I forgot to put them in the, uh, the other box. I don't like to be continually running backwards and forwards, in and out. We can put that drill away, I believe, now. Don't think we need that now. Right, so we've got to get up there, and we've got to check that chamber at the top. In there. Yeah, you don't like this gun, do you? It's a boss loot container, and I believe this also contains the way out this chamber. baby spiders anymore six anymore 
Any more for any more? Leaves. Spiky mushroom. Nice. The sprouts. As you can see, this is one of the reasons why when you're coming to to do this particular POI, you gather so much fresh meat that you don't really want to throw away. It's, it's essential to bring a vehicle that's got a fridge on it. Because this would have all spoiled by the time we got it home. If we didn't have a fridge to keep it fresh. More spiky mushrooms. Excellent. And of course, luxury um, vegetables like this have only got a very, very short shelf life. So... You want to be getting them into a fridge as fast as you can get them to, uh, transferred across. Right, what we got in this? 21 fusion cells. Nice. Medical device. Good, 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 good. 86 Xeno steel blocks. Really nice, I think. Is that the way out? No, that's a trap. Um, so where's the way out? I, I was sure it was from this chamber. I think it might be behind that snake. No. Well, we'll have to check the tunnels. But while we're clear of things, let's just um, remote this loot across to the bike. These alien thorns we can get out on the prairie outside the temple. So I'm not too worried about them. Um, we can also cultivate them. We've got the recipe for cultivating them. So, right. Okay, back up there somehow. Like that. Look for the exit. It's not there. Okay. There's the there's the core for the temple. You can't destroy that one. It's a protected core. Did we check those? We did. And we've got those, and we've got both of those, yep. And no way out there. We've looted everything in here, so now it's a case of finding the escape route which might be up there might be i honestly can't remember if not we'll just drill a way out but there is on all pois there is a way out if you spend enough time looking well, get it spend enough time looking for it um is that it there Kind of looks like a, a tunnel. No. Okay. Oh, run out of go juice in my boots. Right, so the exit might be around these. T I can't remember. It's a while since I've done this one. Not there, it's not there, it's not there. Not there. Just check it's not in here. There is a tunnel there that I missed, look, completely missed. Didn't go anywhere. See, I was sure we went through a room 
that had some talon bedding in it. That's that's going down, not up. Um, ah, yes, this might be it. Or is this back to the main? No, that's back to the main chamber, isn't it? Yes. All right. If I end up cutting a chunk out of the video, it's because I've got myself totally lost and I'm trying to find the way out. So bear with me. Uh, The only thing I remember about it is that to get to the exit, you have to jump to get onto the final passageway out. That's the only thing I remember. It might be back through that section that we've just done where we went up the temple steps thing. Let's have a, have a think about this logically. That, that up there is where we came in. So we need to get up onto that level, and that's the thing that goes highest to get up onto it. What's that up there? Don't think that goes anywhere, does it? No. So that's the highest point up there, right? That's the drop down into the red chamber. As we came up here, I saw something else. That goes back in the direction of the main temple chamber with the giant statue. That, I think, is the direction we want to go out. And according to this, we are directly below the POI marker. And if I go to map, zoom in, damaged hover bike is ahead of us here, that away. So, what is that? Is that what we, that's what we just came down, isn't it? Yes. So, if damaged hover bike is that way. We should be able to tunnel out and up that way and get out. Just get a drill. Give it a go. It's not the best way to do it, and there is a proper way to get out that we shouldn't need to do this. Actually, that's putting us back into those chambers through there. There's soil. And there's sky. So we've come out at the side of the temple. That's fine. Okay, right. That's pre-harvest. What? These are all supposed to be ready to harvest when we get here. That means I'm going to have to come back and harvest them. Okay. Yeah. They're all pre-harvest. Okay. 
Okay, nothing to put in there. Okay. How are we doing on fuel? Talk to me, bike. We're okay for fuel. And main and everything's on. Yeah. Right, so let's um just check what PDA says. Burial chamber, return to sanctuary, speak to Kessel. Okay. So we'll go do that, and then that'll be the end of the video. So sanctuary is over there to the north, 600 meters. Whoa, that's a big drop. I don't know if we can climb in, into that. Oh, yes. Whoa. <laughs> Test the water engines. Yay, the water engines work. Confronting him with your thoughts could be risky. I suggest playing his game for now. Okay. Roger that, Ida. Thank you for your concerns. And... Switch thrusters off. Save power for keeping that fridge viable. Um, just check. We've still got that on us. Um, I don't know if we're supposed to take the whiskey and the rings in. I guess we should. Just in case. Um, devices. Cargo box 3. Uh, where did we put them? Is that? Did we put them in the fridge? Yeah, we did. All right, we'll take them in with us just in case. Uh, they've got no real value. We could sell some of these, I guess. Um, we've got our tier two now. Take some of these in and sell them. Just clear them out. We can make replace. Well, the tier two shotty we can't make replacements for. We'll hang on to that. Tier two multi tool he won't buy, and he won't buy that. Um, but we can we can sell these. Try and sell these three. Maybe sell the, the luxury goods after we've spoken to Kessel. Um, there's a tier one multi tool. He'll buy that. Uh, that 200 plant fiber we leave there to make fuel for, and we've got reserve fuel there for the bike. Uh, put that drill back up there. All right. We don't need the gun out. It's supposed to be friendly spaces. Whoa, what's going on here? Sanctuary's underwater. Interesting effect. Um, where's Bertram? Buy these guns. We've got, we've got a tier one shotgun. Sell that. We've got a flamethrower. Sell that. Pulse rifle. How oh, does he not buy a pulse rifle? Interesting, okay. Multi tool. So that. Who doesn't buy a pulse rifle? Right, well, magnesium will buy that while we're here. Um. You don't buy pulse rifles, do you? No. Right, we'll buy your magnesium. Um, I'm going to buy those neodymium as well. Struggling to find that. And those titanium. Get 
guess we should buy that cobalt. Uh, auto miner core, I'll buy one of those. Iron, copper and silicon we can get plenty of. Right, that's it. Let's go speak to Kessel. He's up on the second floor, isn't he? That's comms. This is Kessel. Where is he? There he is. Right. Kessel, talk to me, my man. Hey, my friend. I managed to find something. It's all about the observations. Hmm. Seems like someone else was after these artifacts as well, but why did they leave them behind? Does not make sense for me. Did you find any human remains? Anything left behind? Booze and a diamond ring. Oh, wait. That ring you found is not only a ring. When I am not mistaken, it belongs to a member of the Abyssal family. Abyssal family. Extra info. Yes, interesting, isn't it? What were they doing here? As you know, the Abyssal are an influential house of the Xerax Empire. The current Empress of the Empire is one of theirs. They are usually not seen so far away from the Xerax homeworlds. Maybe someone stole that ring and lost it again down in the tomb. Hmm, maybe. Not sure what the Xenu, Gist, Rados, Serdu and Epsilon are currently up to. You leave their territory for a minute and next time you knock on their door someone else is in charge. Last time I talked to my contact, there, seem, there seemed to be something going on behind the curtain. Something big. Contacts? Not sure if I should share that. But you've proven twice that you can be trusted, at least a bit. So, I heard some rumours that, um, let's say, things are getting more complicated for the Empress. Rumours about a riot, a revolt behind the scenes, and more serious things threatening the Empire. And given there were Abyssal, or maybe someone unknown, but possibly related to the Xerax in that tomb, searching for the artefacts, this menace does not seem to be the Creel that have started to challenge the, the Xerax. Legacy, maybe? Hmm, you already heard about that particular rumour, as it seems. I hope this stays a rumour, otherwise we, we would be in real big trouble. In case those Talon Elders are right and their frightening bedtime stories become true. Actually, I do not, I do not know what's going on, but I will report that to my contact person that an insignia of the House of Abyssal was found in this system. What about the survivors of Operation Phoenix? Go visit the orbital trading station when you're done with whatever job brought you to this planet. Get yourself a root beer, sit down at the Sky Guys bar and enjoy the view. I'll report to my organization and see what I can do for you. You've already convinced me and I will now try to convince my supervisors to help you. Won't take long, I hope. Before you leave, because you helped me and rescued Dr. Mandor, I will gift you one of our base teleporters. Place it onto your own base, but make sure you have enough generators to run it so they do not explode. It will link itself to the sanctuary and you can come here without having to walk or drive. Ah, before I forget, not sure if it might be of any help, but I have located a shot down small vessel of the Operation Phoenix fleet just nearby the Xerax garrison on this planet. You can use the secret teleporter behind these crates. It will bring you to a hidden observation site. From there, you should be able to find the small vessel with a detector. Prepare for Xerax patrols. Good luck. Same to you. And we got a teleporter as a reward. Nice. That robot doesn't like him. Look. Ida, there are now two possible directions you can try. Use the secret teleporter behind the container vessels in the room where Agent Kessel works. Find the small vessel and escape with it. Or head back to your base or camp and install the teleporter and improve your gear at first, as we might run into more and better equipped Xerac troops around their garrison. Okay. So, that cyborg does not like Kessel. He's never taken his gun off him since we arrived. Uh, we will lose reputation with Polaris Megacorp if we access any of these containers. Oh dear. Uh, press F to talk to Sanctuary Security System. Okay, we don't want to do that. Um, yeah, we can't. Yeah, we can't loot any of this. It's just a shame. There's his secret teleporter, I guess. So we can teleport into that one. 
Uh, we can't operate those containers. Or that one. Let's have a look around up here. Anything we can loot up here? Hmm. No. No, they made all of this unlootable. It used to, Oh, we can access that one. Loot. Let's get what we can. Constructors. Right, so we can't get any of that. You used to be able to loot all of the cargo boxes up here. Uh, we can't go through that door. Hey, what? Have they just locked us in? No, there it is. Again, all of these used to be lootable. They're now no longer lootable. Maybe it's a reputation based thing. Maybe we've got to lift our reputation. Just quickly check all of these. See if we can actually walk away with anything more than those couple of motors. Doesn't look like it. So if we go back around there, we get back in with Kessel, don't we? Yeah. Okay, so on that basis, let's go back to base. And we'll offload and we'll upgrade our gear. It looks like Sanctuary is sinking. That's kind of weird. Um, and I'll see you in the next episode. Decline, go away, stop that. Right, power on. Do, 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 do. Power's on. And we'll put the light on so we can see where we're going. Uh, we came in that way, didn't we? Base. Let's just check map. Yeah, we want to go... Well, we want to go south then west to get round the base. Or we could go around the north side. We'll go around the south side. Um, should be able to get up over here. Oop. Right, I'm going to head back to base. I'll see you in the next episode if you're enjoying this. Oh, hello. If you're enjoying this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. And um, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me what you think I should be doing what I shouldn't be doing. I'm going to be following the story mode through in this series. And we'll see where that takes us. If you never watch the story mode and you don't want the spoilers, subscribe to the channel anyway, but don't watch this series. And I'll see you next week for another episode of this. Don't forget, Saturdays is workshop work in progress. We have Codename Broadsword, a large carrier CV under construction in the shipyard at the moment. And that's what we're featuring currently. I'm the Gasbeard. This has been Empyrean Galactic Survival Story Mode, Chapter 2 or 3. I've lost count. Check when we get back. And um, I hope you come back and join us soon. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you coming and spending time with me. It's great to have you here. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.
Yep, they came in again. Pretty much as soon as I'd parked the bike up, they came in again. So I thought I'd just show you that little attack on the end. Hope you enjoyed that bit extra. See you next week. Bye for now.